of me. The bullflies embark on the conquest of the snout, throat, horns, and back of the animal. The salty perspiration attracts the insects, who believe that the colossal anatomy of the cows and bulls is a perfect field of labor. Aside from the nuisances, some of these dipterans, like the cattle ticks, deposit their larvae on the skin of their hosts, producing infections, terrible open wounds with serious consequences. Help is needed here, and the herd of Amoroso knows where to find it. Their friends, the cattle egrets, are an intelligent relief. They're high-pressure white harpoons that just love bugs. Here we can see Molinero resting after such frenzy and allowing them to do anything they want in order to be freed from the bugs that invade the corners of his eyes. Meanwhile, Amoroso decides to find out where so much protein goes. He's followed the flight of some of the eagles and has reached the aviary. A forest of salt cedars receives a noisy colony of cattle eagles. And Amoroso, alongside them, confirms that something among them makes this flock of birds so prosperous. The birds are feeding, and the young bull makes them uncomfortable. The chicks and adults are the living summary of a secular symbiosis. For centuries, these small and hyperactive herons have been known by the local people of the fields as ox purgers, and it's clearly understood why. A giant discovers the state of well-being in a fighting camp of egrets, which respect his hooves solemnly. They obtain the perfect supplementary nutrition in order to continue to exist. Amoroso continues on his way, with another lesson learned. Although it's true, he's a little bewildered by so much clamor. Stalks, forage, chestnuts, and reeds are some of the types of feed most appreciated by the bull. Although jointed grasswort is the major delicatessen for him and other vegetarians of the South. This planet has changed its leaves into spongy reserves, where water does not evaporate. If we look closely, we'll see that aside from the cows, other horned animals also live off the jointed grasswort. Hundreds of snails and cabrillas come together at the stalks and graze in their own ways. Living in community means what's good for one is good for another. Eight months have passed since the helpless Amoroso was born. He continues to remain by his mother's side like her shadow. We could even say, without any fear of error, that the bulls are considered mama's boys throughout their youthful phase. He 
He's close to becoming a yearling and is happy in this ecosystem that he's more familiar with every day and where he fits in perfectly. This young bull forms part of a herd and he lives in a society. But he doesn't know that the time of change is near and that man, once again, wants to make him stronger by fear. The afternoon seems to warn him, but he's only able to revive the flame of nostalgia. These are the last days that Amoroso will spend by his mother's side. This is the day of weaning, the age of majority by force. Cows and calves are separated. The landscape and the bulls are shifted around like dye in the shaker of a capricious croupier. Amorosa and Amoroso do what they can, always together. The motherly instinct of a cow is possibly the most temperamental of the animal kingdom. But the one harassing him on horseback has supreme intelligence. Angry but impotent, she watches Amoroso defend himself. This is his first stressful moment. A black shadow on his multicolor existence. As he is hobbled by several men, he calls for his mother like a crying baby, and she comes. In this situation, cows are very dangerous to men. But she gives up and loses the most important game of her life. Her son doesn't belong to her anymore. Through iron and fire, Amoroso is going to enter maturity. He will no longer be a wild animal, but will be numbered by the figures that allow man to say, this bull is mine number 299. The bulls cry. They have the entire marsh in their eyes, and they don't understand what's going on at all. With the cattle branding iron on the back hind, the job of branding is finished. Amoroso is going to fight his own battle. He's going to take his first revenge against the fire that has caused him so much pain. This bull is afraid, but not so afraid to flee without demonstrating his bravery. One year has passed, and Amoroso now lives alone among other bulls, and almost all of them are older than him. <laughs> <laughs> 